QuantumScape says it's making progress with getting its battery technology to market in a bid to supply the surging electric vehicle space. The company continues to target commercial production sometime in 2024. Joining us now for an exclusive interview is QuantumScape founder and CEO Jagdeep Singh. Jagdeep, always good to speak with you here. So we've been following uh, you from the very beginning. Where are you uh, in terms of a timeline in getting your technology to market? Yeah, morning, Mark. So the timeline hasn't changed. Uh, we, we've said, as you pointed out, uh, we want to commercialize in the 24, 25 time frame, and that's still the time frame that we're targeting. Uh, you know, what's I think what's encouraging is the results we announced last week uh, is that we, we seem to be uh, tracking well to that timeline. So if you recall, in December, we showed uh, what we called single layer cells. Those are the first uh, demonstrations of solid state batteries with you know one cathode, one anode, one uh, solid state separator. And then in February on the earnings call, we reported four layer cells, which is kind of stacking these up into bigger cells. And then, of course, last week we announced that we now have uh, 10 layer cells. Uh, and of course, that's a big deal because you know while the single layer cells demonstrate that the chemistry works and we can make these solid state cells and the performance is you know better than uh, than has ever been reported before. Uh, and, and starts to close the gap with combustion engines, we needed to stack those single layers up into multiple layers to make bigger cells. And, and that's the results that, that make us feel like we're, you know, we're uh, going to be able to hit our, our, our targets uh, in the 24, 25 time frame to commercialize. Jackie, what you and your team do, uh, I'm now 400 employees, it's, it's not as simple as making a sandwich and putting on the grill here. Uh, what challenges are you up against in, in the near term here to reach your commercialization goal? Yeah, so, you know, um, as we stack more of these layers up together, one of the key things you need is just you need to have more uh, more material, more you know, more more uh, uh, separators to, to work with. So we need to increase our capacity. That's a big part of what we're doing this year is we're ordering you know, bigger versions of the tools that we work with so we can get more capacity. Uh, obviously, we need to engineer the, the stacking itself, uh, and it's not quite as simple as a sandwich, but uh, but it's not quite as hard as, as fundamental new chemistry, which we which we already addressed, uh, you know, in the, in the December results that we showed. So, uh, really, I would say the biggest task uh, going forward is is around scale up, and and scale up is there's two ways to scale it up. There's uh, there's uh, scaling up the number of layers in a cell uh, that we've shown, you know, very encouraging progress on, uh, and there's also a scaling up in terms of the capacity and throughput of the the manufacturing facilities. And and there you might recall, uh, you know, we announced that we were doing this pre pilot line facility. That should be able to produce, you know, hundreds of thousands of cells in the 2023 timeframe, you know, which gives us enough cells to put into real test cars, and that's when I think you'll see actual cars with uh, with these batteries in them. Now, Jagdeep, your your timeline here gives you guys a, a little bit more leeway to work through some of the supply issues that, of course, we've all heard about across the economy. But I'm curious um, if you have had any challenges getting materials you need, uh, whether it is on the raw material side, whether it's on uh, some of the more technical input side, and if that has at all hampered your development, or if, or if you're wary of, you know, you look out 12, 18 months, where that you could run into some of those bottlenecks. Yeah, I mean, you know, some of the some of the uh, tool suppliers that that we use, uh, these are you know large industrial tools used in many different industries, from ceramics to the battery industry. Uh, they have experienced some uh, uh, you know some uh, uh, delays based on their own supply chain. So obviously, things like the the worldwide semiconductor shortage is hitting some of these players. Luckily, the overall impact has not been too dramatic for us. We've been you know we, we've we've been placing our orders nine, twelve you know months in advance of. Uh, when the tools are scheduled to come in, so there's enough uh, working uh, margin there. Uh, but it's something that we, you know, we obviously track very closely. We have a great team of people that works with those suppliers. Uh, recall that Volkswagen is our our, uh, our biggest partner, and they obviously have a lot of you know buying power, and so they they've been actually uh, very helpful in helping us work with some of these suppliers. So overall, there has been you know uh, uh, you know uh, uh, small impacts on, on various tools, uh, but in the large uh, larger picture, we we feel like we're you know, we're, we're going to be able to uh, to um, uh, get to the targets that we're, uh, we're, we're shooting for. Jagdeep, I believe you're poised to deliver prototype samples to auto OEMs in 2022. Who will be getting those samples and what exactly are they getting? So you deliver a battery uh, to some of these OEMs, they test it out. What's the range on those batteries? 
Yeah, so by prototype samples, what we mean is samples that um, uh, are in the commercial form factor. Uh, so uh, we already are making cells that are that are in the commercial area, so commercially relevant area, I should say. Um, so it's you know close to what we think uh, we'll actually be shipping uh, to, to customers. Uh, but what we need to do is uh, have the number of layers also be consistent with what we will ship commercially. So uh, we've said that customers uh, are going to be getting on the order of a few dozen layers uh, of these single layer st cells stacked up. Uh, sometime next year. That's still our target. Uh, the first customer to get these cells, of course, will be Volkswagen. Uh, we've, you know, we've uh, uh, made sure that they're the, our, you know, our biggest partner, uh, and and they will, uh, they're, they'll be the first uh, cars on the road with these cells. Uh, and then in 2023, that's when you will see, uh, you know, these cells go into actual test cars on on test tracks. Uh, so that's kind of the rough time frame. So these these prototype samples with, you know, multiple dozens of layers are targeted for next year. In 23, we see actual cars uh, with this technology, and then 24, 25 time frame, if all goes well, uh, we hope to be in, in, in mass production. Also with Volkswagen, as you, as you might recall, we're doing a joint venture with them to manufacture these cells in volume. So when that happens, uh, that's when the full vision of what we're talking about you know, gets realized, which is, of course, you know, uh, cars or batteries that, that have a longer range, you know, faster charge times, uh, safer operations, you know, all those things come together with, with solid state batteries and, uh, and that's really what we're shooting for. Is your guidance still to hit 6.4 billion in sales by 2028? And if so, what is in that assumption? Is that just business related to Volkswagen? Yeah, so our numbers haven't changed at all. Those are the numbers we shared when we did our um, uh, our offering last year, and and you know we really haven't uh, uh, updated or changed those numbers at all. Um, basically, the the, the first uh, volume customer is going to be Volkswagen. Volkswagen has a lot of different brands, as you know, from Porsche to Audi to the VW brand itself. So a number of iconic brands. Uh, once they ship cars, uh, we are free to ship uh, with other players as well. Uh, the numbers you refer to are uh, a mix of both the VW facility as well as additional factories that we turn up uh, beyond uh, that first factory. So the, the VW factory uh, is what we expect will, will be in, in, in production in the 24, 25 timeframe. Uh, but post that timeframe, you know, 26, 27 or later, uh, we expect to have additional factories that will serve additional customers as well. And, and, uh, and that's what creates the, the, the really big opportunity here. And lastly, do you need to raise capital to ultimately push to, to develop that manufacturing footprint? Well, we've said that the cash we have in the bank, which is currently you know, around $1.5 billion, is sufficient to get us into production. Uh, and in fact, it'll also um, uh, contribute some capital to our subsequent um, uh, QS1 expansion plans. Um, and you know, uh, so so we're you know we 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 feel pretty good about our cash balance right now. It's really you know we we don't um, uh, we don't need additional capital to get to uh, to get into production. Uh, and so uh, we're focused really on execution. You know, getting this uh, you know, getting these layers done, getting the factories built, uh, and 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 uh, demonstrating that this technology actually you know uh, can uh, uh, be commercialized and, and and make an impact on the EV market. All right, we'll leave it there. QuantumScape founder and CEO Jagdeep Singh, always good to see you. Stay safe. We'll talk to you soon. Pleasure, Brian. Thank you.